guys my goodness what is really going on a lot is happening and what is flying around is people really speculating and pushing this narrative that tabang is obsessed with kosi oh my god guys do you think that tabang is actually obsessed with kosi let me know your thoughts down the comment section but for me all i care about at this point is the little entertainment and drama that i can milk out of the show that i can enjoy with the little time that is still remaining and guess what guys it's only kobang that is tabang and kosi that is giving us premium um, entertainment for now they are just the one that is at least interesting at this point nothing really is going on i really i don't know the reason but i really do not buy into tati and um kananga jr sometimes they are cute but sometimes i really do not it's just kosi and tabang that have this chemistry this connection this friendship that is interesting to watch for some reason it's just so interesting it's just so captivating every now and then you're just you know what are they doing what are they doing initially i must tell you the truth it irritated me i didn't like Kosi with Tabang. I didn't like the idea. I don't know if it's the age difference. I don't know if it look weird to me or if it is strange. But I didn't buy to that idea for the first time. But right now, I must tell you that they are carrying the show on their shoulder. They are the one giving us the entertainment for now. Guys, I don't know if you're thinking what I'm thinking. But generally, it's just the position for me. Like how Kosi and Tabang position themselves, how they cuddle, the random kisses, the banters, the playfulness, the argument, the conversation, the deep conversation they have, the understanding, the respect, you know, is as though Katabang um, um, love language is like quality time and physical touch. He appreciates that so much. He loves to touch. He loves to touch Kosi and the deep, deep conversation they used to have. You all know that Tabang really have meaningful conversation. When he wants to be serious, if you listen to his conversation, you know that this guy is actually smart. He's actually deep. He, he doesn't talk like a 21 year old. I keep saying this that maybe Tabang looks younger than his age and he just chose that 21. For a 21 year old boy, in that house he really he really killed it he's killing it and he's giving hope to the young guys out there that is above 18 or 18 that you can be in a reality tv show and still kill it and still come out smart and still make it this far i am just so proud of him and everyone that have made it this far in this show but right now kose and tabang is like that power couple in biggie's house guys did you see their outfit like the outfit is giving like for tabang his outfit is really perfect it's just giving this greed kind of vibe it's just giving this it's just perfect for the occasion for his body everything and i don't think biggie has given tabang any flip flop <laughs> any outfit that flopped like every outfit that tabang has won is is clean it okay guys but somehow the production biggie i don't know they are doing black boy dirty big time because each and every outfit that um biggie has given to black boy is just a mess it's just tattered it's just not fitting it's just not giving it's just zero i don't think it's going to rock those outfits outside the house i don't think so but the ones that they're giving all the housemates they can even rock it outside the house i don't know why biggie is doing that so um black boy boy or more oh god i don't know what you think about black boy's outfit but it's not giving i don't know why biggie will give black boy a jalabia like <laughs> oh my goodness it's so so hilarious is black boy outfit is killing me like seriously i beg i'm not understanding that clothes oh oh my god they did him so so dirty if you can see the outfit from the mirror oh my goodness oh god which wickedness is this oh 
<laughs> anyway guys moving forward they say that um biggie is changing the eviction like biggie is changing the eviction and i'm not understanding which one is game changing eviction game changing eviction i was thinking that since it's a corporate um saturday night party maybe at the end of the day they are going to evict impromptu eviction then on sunday they are still going to evict some but let's see what the game changing eviction is all about i cannot wait but i know that cozy rains are up and doing they are doing their best they are doing everything to keep her on the game and i hope also that yvonne makes it to the finale i really hope that she's safe tomorrow so in summary i don't know any of you watching this video if you're a coban shipper if you're rooting for them in and outside the house or you're just enjoying the moment personally for me i am not officially shipping i am not a shipper after shipping um Emma rose i have dropped shipping for who get the heart and the time and the energy but then again i love how happy kosi and tabank looks i i like how happy they are together they are like teenagers sometimes and it's just how soft they treat each other it's just giving and it's something that i love to watch okay guys let me know what you think down the comment section and also addressing the people that keep calling um um I, it's just funny guys how people keep calling um tabang toddler like being 21 and getting this far in this game is actually a flex like it's actually giving mm -hmm. now we don't have um i don't think people have anything bad to say about him he has this way of pushing off and brushing out and you know settling every bad narration or narrative or shaking the table that even the audience and also Ebuka have thrown at him that is really a big flex again and being 21 or being a toddler i know that they are using that term because of kosi the age difference and all but then again he is behaving talking above his age it's too mature for his age and i think that's the most important thing the reasoning um the maturity and everything but i don't think anything serious is going to happen between Sabang and Kosi outside the house. But as they say, never say never. Let's wait and see what is going to happen when they are outside the house. What are your expectations for tomorrow eviction? What do you think about this game-changing eviction that they are bringing to our faces? What do you think is going to be? Is it going to be a double, triple, whatever eviction? Do you think there is going to be something, a twist? that we have never seen before that biggie is going to bring on let's talk personally down the comment section thank you and god bless you for always watching love you guys